All right, guys, so I've been seeing a lot of questions um, now that night mining has ended uh, for CPUs that, you know, you either have locally or you're SSH'd in, you know, you rented a VPS. Um, you are no longer able to mine with those CPUs using either Midnight Fetcher Bot or Nocturne. Um, you can, however, still mine right now, I guess for another seven or so hours um, using the browser miner. Um, but this is very important. You have a limited amount of time to consolidate all the mining that you did, you know, for however long you've been mining during, I think it was a total of a 21 day window. I started sometime early last week. So I um, have seen lots and lots of questions about this process. And so um, right now I'm just getting done um, consolidating all my work to one address for all of my um, servers that were on Nocturne Miner. And so it's not that complicated of a process. Um, everything is in fact over here listed on their um, site. Uh, and so I will leave a link to this down below. And then um, I'm gonna show you uh, how to do it right now. It's pretty quick and it's pretty simple. Once you get it done for one, you can just go ahead and do the rest of your workers. So let me show you guys how to do that right now using the Nocturne Miner. All right, guys, so in order to complete this process, you're going to need a Cardano wallet that is compatible with Midnight. And so I'll leave a link um, to this article in the video description below. And here is a verified list of compatible wallets. Um, I actually was going to use Eternal, um, but I noticed it says desktop and the version I was getting seemed like it was not the desktop version. So I ended up going with the Newfie uh, browser extension wallet, which you can see here. So go ahead and pick whichever wallet you wanna use. Make sure you safely store your seed phrase. Um, and that is the first thing that you're going to need in order to begin this consolidation process. Now, once you pick your wallet software that's compatible that you're going to use for this claiming and consolidating, you need to register that wallet address, okay? And so um, I am going to show you that process right now. You have to get this registered address. You, I'll leave a link down to um, this um, site that you're gonna do that at below. Um, and this is what it'll look like when you first load up. Um, I'm actually going to manually enter this eternal address to show you exactly what it looks like. Um, but if you have new fee or you go to any of these browser extension addresses, um, you will, you know, it'll, it'll go through on its own and connect. And so this process, um, I'm going to show you right now. So uh, here is the address. It's going to verify. This is me registering my address. Okay. Scavenger mine claims will be tied to this destination address. Do not send tokens or otherwise execute transactions um, during this claim period. So boom, your destination address is set. Now we click next. Uh, we need to accept these, read them if you'd like, accept and sign the message to be signed. Your signature will be generated by your wallet. So I actually didn't have to do this uh, because it was um, you know browser extension and I just clicked sign and accept and I was good to go. And it got me to uh, step three here and um, I we are off to the races. And all right, guys, uh, now that we have registered our wallet address, um, we can move to the next step and begin consolidating. And so after connecting and registering, we want to scroll down to this export button. Um, and this is going to uh, download this text file here. And it will look like this. And there is a parameter in here for a wallet address. It's actually not too far down. Um, and you are going to need uh, this. And uh, so that is what they're uh, showing you in this step here is you're going to need to find that wallet address. We're basically gonna copy and paste it out. Now, um, this is where things get a little tricky depending on your setup. Um, you need your settings.json file from whatever server or CPU mining rig that you have that you were mining on. And so on my network, um, I was actually SSH'd into different servers and I was SSH'd into a Threadripper that is, you know, hours away from me right now. And so um, I needed to get my settings.json over into the same directory um, as the executable file. And the way that I did this is by uh, using magic wormhole to send the uh, settings JSON file that has my, you know, seed phrase in it over to the computer that I'm working on right now.
So this method will, will work totally fine for Clore servers or VAST servers that you rented or if you were SSH'd into, you know, locally or, you know, at other places that you have, you know, equipment. And so for this scenario, I'm doing all my consolidating on my regular, you know, daily driver Windows 11 work PC. And so I needed to have Magic Wormhole installed on this setup. And so you can use Python to do that. Just copy, I'll leave this command in the video description below. Just pip install magic wormhole. And then once you do that, you um, actually need to get this uh, consolidator file into the exact same directory as your JSON that has your seed phrase. So um, on your Windows system, if you're doing it like that, uh, you're gonna go ahead and download this. Um, and then, um, which I already did, so it's in my like downloads directory. Once you have downloaded it, you actually need to uh, change directory into the area where that is. And so, you know, you can do ls and see what all these, you know, places, uh, directories are. And I know that is in, um, I remember where I, where did I put it? Yeah, documents. So it's in my documents. You can just tab over and you need to get to wherever you just downloaded this um, consolidator because we are going to wormhole again this, what we're doing is wormholing this json with our seed phrase into the same location as where we downloaded this consolidator tool and so all i'm doing in powershell right now is changing directory to where i downloaded this um tool right and so you can just hit CD, you can tap over once you start typing it in, and, and there you go. You could do, you know, LS to see all the files. Now I am in the same directory um, as where I downloaded this consolidator tool. That is what they make sure that you um, do in this step here. And so now, once you have that set, uh, you're ready to magic wormhole your uh, settings.json file that has that we're gonna that we're gonna need to have in order to do this consolidation process right so um you're actually gonna need to make sure you have wormhole so apt install i think it's magic uh wormhole and then we'll do hyphen y yeah i didn't have yet so we're gonna install that real quick oh no it is installed and then um once you're ready now you can do um wormhole send and then we want to send this settings.json file and uh, this is the sending thing. I guess, you know, once this is done, you're not gonna be able to use it anymore. And so you're going to copy and paste this to the system that you want to send it on. Make sure you're in this correct directory. I guess you can just drag it and drop it anyway. Um, but right now I'm going to uh, send it from my server. You know, this could be your Clor or your Vast or whatever server you're SSH into in that terminal um, to where I'm doing my consolidating. And so I will now click Y for yes. And there you go. I have now sent it over. Fantastic. So for Nocturne, we have now made it to the final step. And you actually just need to edit the settings.json file and add this donate to parameter. Um, and you actually don't need to type it in in this latest version. I have noticed that they actually added the field for you. Um, and so you're gonna come on over into that directory where you know you have just wormholed yourself your settings.json file with your seed phrase, as well as this Nocturne Consolidator uh, Windows executable file. And you need to open up your you know JSON um, as well as that uh, file that we downloaded <clears throat> um, from the export area and that is where we got our a registered wallet address okay and so we need to use that registered wallet address to add to the donate field and so you can see they have added this donate to parameter and so you can go ahead and put that in here and then um you need to save and uh, make sure that your mnemonic is completely 100% and totally accurate. Okay, and so once you have you know, added your export address, the registered Cardano wallet address and your seed phrase, and you have these in the exact same directory, you are now ready to consolidate. And so hopefully it'll work um, accurately. And so there we go. This is my destination address. It is deriving the addresses from the mnemonics and we're off. And it looks like it's going, seems to be working um, as well. And boom, we are done. The consolidation process is complete.
there you go guys that is how you consolidate for a uh, nocturne and if you have multiple workers that you're doing this on multiple mining rigs multiple seeds um you're just going to repeat this process over and over again you'll just you know move out that settings.json you'll just wormhole the next one and just rinse and repeat all right so now it's time to consolidate our rewards from the midnight fetcher bot um, i was actually using both of these uh nocturne and midnight fetcher so i'll leave a link down to this consolidation tool uh they have a discord as well and so um using this consolidation tool uh we are now going to uh get the rest of our rewards using our registered cardano address so we're going to go ahead and download this zip file now um, into the same directory that I had my midnight fetcher bot situation at. Um, and so I am now going to unzip this tool. Um, and this is actually my first time doing this. So let's see if everything goes smoothly. So we're going to open this uh, consolidation tool main. Um, let's hop on over into um, the directions that they have here on the readme of their uh, GitHub, right? So we need to import our seed phrase. So let's go ahead and run the setup. And yeah, on this system we already had, I already had Node.js installed. And so um, it looks like it is getting ready to uh, run by installing the dependencies. So we'll give that a second. Seems to be going okay so far. All right, and uh, it has completed uh, the process there and has automatically launched. And so now I'm gonna enter my seed phrase here and set a password. All right, so now I have entered in my wallet uh, seed as well as my password, and I'm going to proceed to consolidate my destination address for this consolidation. Um, I'm gonna use my registered uh, Midnight Cardano address from my Newfie wallet. Okay, so I got my, uh, you know, Midnight Scavenger Hunt registered wallet address um, and it looks all good to go. And so now I start the consolidation and um, let's see, I think it's working. Uh, processing, indexing, consolidating addresses here. Okay, remaining 20. I, I did end up checking off 20. Hey, would you look at that? So uh, total solutions consolidated, all address consolidated successfully. Fantastic, that was actually quite easy. Uh, and so there you have it folks, that is how you consolidate your you know, night mining rewards from both the Midnight Fetcher Bot as well as the Nocturne software. Um, I'm gonna leave links to everything you need down below, this GitHub page for Midnight Fetcher, Scavenger Hunt Mine, Nocturne, um, they, as well as their Discords. It looks like Nocturne is gonna sunset their Discord once this is all over. So this is very time sensitive. I'm sorry, I wish I would've done this for you guys yesterday. Um, but you only have, I guess, you know, you could still browser mine, you know, night for like a little bit longer, but I believe there's only like one more day. Like there's like another, somebody last night who seemed to know what they're talking about said 43 hours. And that was last night. So you have like the next day. This is definitely time sensitive. If you've been mining night, you need to make sure that you are registering your um, Cardano address and claiming your reward. So that's it. Hopefully this helps you guys, um, you know, leave a comment down below or ping me in Discord and I'll do what I can to help you guys. Good luck out there.